good day! This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video and today we're going to talk about function. So in this video, you're going to learn how to determine whether the given relation is a function or not. But before that, let us have first the definition of a function. According to Merriam-Webster, the function is the action of which a person or thing is specially fitted or used or for which a thing exists. So in other words, it is your purpose. Pag sinabi daw function, ito yung purpose mo, ito yung kaya mong gawin at para ka dito. So, yun po yung function. Now, in mathematics or in algebra, function is is a type of relation where there is exactly one output for every input. Or in other words, for every x, there is exactly one y. So, ito daw pong function ay isang relation. But, for a relation to be qualified as a function, kailangan po nating tandaan na for every x, there is exactly one y. So, in short, yung terms natin sa x ay meron lamang exactly one pair to the elements in y. Another thing to take note is that all functions are relations. But, not all relations are functions. So again, lahat po ng functions ay considered as relations, pero hindi lahat ng relations ay functions. Kasi nga po, meron tayong qualification para maging function. Again, ano yung qualification na yun? For every x, there is only exactly one y. So, yun yung ating kailangang tandaan. So, in relation, there are different type of correspondence. Kung natatandaan po nito sa ating nakaraang video, we have already talked about correspondence. So, meron tayong one-to-one, one-to-many, and many to one. So, in a function, alin lang sa tatlong correspondence na to ang pasok? Tandaan po, for a relation to be a function, the elements in X should have exactly one pair to the elements in Y. So, automatically, one-to-one -one correspondence is a function. Many to one also is a function. Why? Because the element in X has only one pair on the elements in Y. And itong one-to-many, ito po yung hindi kasama sa function. Bakit? Kasi yung element ng x, marami siyang kapartner sa y, which is, yun po yung hindi natin pwedeng gawin. Function should only have an element in x that has only one pair of element in y. Another thing to remember or hint or clue para mas matandaan natin, look only at the x coordinate. Ang tanging titingnan lang natin ay ang x values or x coordinates. If the set of ordered pairs have different x coordinates, it is a function. Kapag daw ang ating domain ay magkakaiba, therefore, the relation is a function. Pero, kapag ang ating set of ordered pairs have same x-coordinates or yung ating domain may naulit or meron tayong iisang x-coordinates, ibig sabihin, yung relation natin ay not function. And, tandaan po, y-coordinates have no bearing in determining functions. May maulit man sa y-coordinates, so wala tayong pakialam dyan. Ang titignan lang natin ay ang x-coordinates. So, sa madaling sabi, para mas matandaan natin, kailan magiging function is walang mauulit na x. x stands for element of x. Kailangan walang mauulit na x. Okay? So, let's proceed to some of the examples. And, items here have been already used during our discussion of relation. This is a short recap but dadagdagan na rin natin. Okay, so we are going to determine the type of correspondence that the relation shows and we're going to also determine if this is a function or not. The first relation here is in the form of mapping diagram and as you can see, yung elements pa sa X ay may isa lang ka-partner dun sa Y. As you can see, this item here which is 1 ay may dalawang kapares dito sa ating Y. So, if that's the case, ano po ang correspondence nito? This is 1 to many. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong isang element sa X na maraming ka-partner sa Y. Eh, ano po ba ang ating palatandaan na ang relation ay function? Walang mauulit na X. Eh, may naulit. Dalawang ka-partner ni X dito sa Y. So, that means this is not a function. So, another is, if we have this mapping diagram, wherein yung ating mga element sa X ay may isa lamang silang ka-partner sa Y. So, two elements from X has one partner from Y. Ano po ang correspondence nito? So, many sila, kasi dalawa sila, pero isa lang yung kapartner nila sa Y. Many to one. And remember, many to one correspondence is a function. Bakit? Kasi wala naman pong naulit na value ng X. Ang one, partner niya si six. Si two, partner niya si 6. And kahit maulit yung element natin dito sa y, it doesn't affect the function itself. Okay? So, yung x lang yung laging nakaka-apekto when it comes to function. 
Okay, let's have another one. So, we have this table form. And as you can see, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Tingnan natin maigi. May naulit po ba sa X natin na elements? Wala po. So, the correspondence, kung titingnan natin, wala rin naman pong naulit dun sa Y. So, the correspondence is 1 to 1. And that means, this is a function. Again, pag 1 to 1 ng correspondence, siya po ay function. While, on this example, we have X as 5, paulit-ulit na 5. So, dun pa lang sa ating hint na walang mauulit na x, alam na natin that this is not a function. So, siya ay relation lamang. Okay? And, again, meron lang tayong nag-iisang x element at marami siyang kapartner sa y. So, ang correspondence nito ay one to many. And, again, this is not a function. So, siya ay relation lamang. Ulitin ko po, yung not function ay relation lamang. Hindi na siya umabot sa level na function. Hanggang relation lang daw siya. Next, we have here the ordered pair. So, tingnan muna natin maigi. Tandaan, ang atin pong kailangan tignan ay ang x coordinates or x elements. Negative 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, negative 2. So, kung doon tayo titingin, malalaman na natin agad kung relation ba siya or function. But, first, ano nga po ba yung correspondence nito? May naulit po ba na x? Kung may naulit na x, ibig sabihin, eto po ay 1 to many na naman. Ano po? At meron po tayong naulit na x, which is 0. So, siya ay 1 to many, kaya this is not a function. Okay? May naulit na x, not a function or hanggang relation lamang siya. Then, 5 and negative 2, 4 and negative 2, 3 and negative 2, 2 and positive 2, positive 1 and positive 2, 0 and positive 2. So, kung titingnan natin, meron tayong elements of x na iisa yung kapares sa ating element of y. So, dun pa lang, alam na natin na siya ay many to 1. And kapag many to 1 ang correspondence, siya po ay function. And kung titingnan naman po natin, wala tayong naulit na x values. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, walang naulit na x, so function siya. Kahit may naulit na y, wala tayong um, pakialam dyan kasi x coordinates lamang yung kailangan nating tignan. Okay, that's our first batch of examples. So, let's proceed to our another activity. So, let's do this. Determine whether the given sets or graph are relations or functions. First, we have this mapping diagram wherein the elements on X are the name of students and then elements in Y are the sections. Now, as you can see, si Faith, section Gomez, Camille, section Gomez then Jason, section Zamora, and Ivan, section Gomez. So, meron tayong tatlong element in X na ang section ay iisa. May naulit ba na element in in x na dalawa ang section. So, the answer is no. Therefore, this is a function. Ito po ay may correspondence na many to one. Tatlong element sa x, isa lamang yung kanyang kapares dito sa ating element in y. Another, we have this table form wherein we have the government agencies and different official websites. Is this a relation or a function? May naulit ba na x? Wala. And that is why this is a function and ang kanyang correspondence is one-to-one -one correspondence. So, isa ang kapartner ni X dun sa ating Y. Next, we have this ordered pair in listing method. We have one and two, one and three, two and two, two and three. 3 and 2 and 3 and 3. Ang titingnan natin is the x coordinates or x elements or the domain may naulit po ba sa domain. So meron tayong 1 ang partner sa y ay 2 and 3. Meron tayong 2 na ang partner sa y ay 2 and 3 and also itong 3 ang partner din ay 2 and 3 doon sa y. So in short may naulit na x. This is just a relation. Hindi siya function. Yung 1 natin na ulit, yung 2 na ulit, yung 3 na ulit. And wala po tayong pakialam kung may naulit dun sa y coordinates natin or sa range kasi ang titingnan lang natin for function ating domain or yung ating x coordinates. Next, again, another mapping diagram. 2 ang pair niya is 2. Si negative 1, meron siyang dalawang kapares which is positive 3 and 0. Si 3 ay ang partner din ay si 0. So, is this a relation or a function? Function. So, tingnan nyo pong maigi, meron tayong isang element sa X na dalawa ang kapartner dito sa Y. So, that means meron tayong one to many correspondence at ang one to many correspondence ay relation only. Then, we have this graph. 
So, tingnan mabuti yung graph. May naulit po ba na X? So, kung mapapansin nyo po, wala naman po. And that means, ito po ay function. At ang atin pong correspondence dito ay 1 to 1. Instead of writing or looking for the coordinates of a graph, meron po tayong method on how we can determine if this is a function or just a relation. At ang method na yon ay tinatawag nating vertical line test. A relation is a function if a vertical line drawn through its graph passes through only one point. Ibig sabihin, matatawag daw nating function ang isang graph kung may idadaan tayong vertical line dun sa ating graph at sa isang point lamang dadaan yung ating vertical line. So, kaya nga po itong ating example na to is a function kasi kung dadaan po dyan ang vertical line, isang beses lamang po tatamaan yung ating drawn na line. Let's have another example for this graph and vertical line test. Is this a relation or a function? Tandaan to determine if this is a function, the vertical line should pass only at one point on this graph. So, dapat daw po one point lang yung dadaanan niya kapag nag-vertical line test. If we have this pencil as our or vertical line, pag dumaan yan dito sa graph natin, dalawang beses po niyang nadaanan yung ating graph. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong two points na nadaanan dito ng vertical line natin. At kapag may nadaanan pong ganito, two points or more points, ibig sabihin siya ay not function na. So, again, if the vertical line passes through more than one point, ibig sabihin po, relation lamang siya. Another, so on this horizontal line, kapag po nag-vertical line test tayo, may madadaanan po ba tayo dyan na part na dalawang beses po tayong tatama doon sa ating mismong graph vertically. So, wala po. This means that this graph is a function. Many to one po yung ating correspondence dito. Next, on this graph, zigzag siya na kapag tayo ay nag-test ng vertical line. So, dito pa lang sa part na to, hindi lang siya sa isang point dumaan. So, ilang point yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this means, this is not a function. Siya ay relation lamang. Okay? So, next, for this vertical line at dadaanan pa siya ng another vertical line. Nyo, may nakikita pa ba kayong line? So, nakain na siya ng ating pencil test or ng ating vertical line test. Ibig sabihin niya, naulit ng naulit ng naulit ang ating x coordinate. So, that means, this graph is a relation only. This is the last example for this lesson. So, if we have this vertical line, again, test natin siya. So, may natamaan ba tayong dalawang point at the same time dito? So, as you can see, wala po. That means, this is a function. Okay? So, that ends our video about function. So, what is a function? This is a relation walang nauulit na x. Walang nauulit na element of x. So, we can also use the vertical line test if the given relation is in graphical form. So, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something and huwag kalimutan pong mag-subscribe, mag-like at mag-share ng video na ito. Bye-bye! God bless!